guys, what's going on? It's RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have some much needed upgrades I need to do to this Traxxas X-Max. Now in the last video where I was bashing this thing at the rock quarry, I ended up breaking one of my drive shafts. It actually just completely snapped the drive shaft completely. Basically immediately when I started bashing, a lot of it has to do with it, these heavy wheels and tires. So these Scorpion XL belted wheels and tires, they're bigger, they're heavier than the stock wheels and tires. There's a lot of rotational mass. So I think that's part of the reason why they broke. On top of that, I think that was a 6S drive shaft because just FYI guys, this started out as a 6S X Max and majority of the stuff's been converted over to 8S. But there's a few things that have not been converted yet. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, guys. We're going to be doing some more of the stuff to actually turn this thing into an 8S X Max. Now, what does that require? Well... This right here, this right here guys is 7727X, which is the new rear bulkhead upper and lower. That's for the 8S X Max. So the difference between the 6S and the 8S X Max is the 8S X Max has a little bit different rear bulkhead to accommodate slightly larger bearings right in here. Um, Cause they're just slightly larger bearings for that center differential. And that's the other difference. The other difference is uh, the 8S X Max has a center diff the 6S X Max does not. That's another reason why I think I probably broke a drive shaft and I've been tearing up. I've been stripping pinion gears. I've been stripping basically all the gears in this thing will strip when I try to bash this thing. So this thing's really unbashable. So if I want to turn this thing into a real basher, I have to get some of these things swapped over. So this is going to be the first thing. We also need this piece right here, guys, 7796. And this right here, guys, is the center differential. Uh, with those larger bearings that I was just mentioning. Um, and this is what's basically going to go in here. I'm going to plop that down in there. And we're going to basically transfer everything over and put this rear bulkhead on that. And then everything's going to be transferred over. And hopefully then we don't have any issues, or at least not as many issues, with stripping teeth on my differential gears, breaking drive shafts. Um, but yeah, drive shafts also... One of the drive shafts broke, and I actually discovered another one is actually broken. So I bought two new stub axles right here, 7768R. Um, so two new stub axles. These are the four of the 8S because the 8S has slightly different. Um, the end pins are slightly larger on the 8S X Max, and that's the whole reason why the stub axles are slightly different, as well as the drive cup. I only got one drive cup because I think I have an 8S drive cup um, sitting around, but this right here, 7754X. That's the 8S drive cup, slightly larger, so it can fit a slightly larger pin for the dog bone. And then two new, two new 7750X uh, drive shafts, the dog bone drive shafts. And this is actually for the 8S X Max. This is what I want to upgrade to. I don't want to go throw another 6S one in. And then on top of that, we need a couple of these. What are these? These are the actual constant velocity, uh, like the pin. So we can actually, this is basically the pin that goes through here for the constant velocity uh, end piece that then goes into the stub axle. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, guys. So let me get some of this torn open. Let me resituate the camera, remove the body, and we're going to jump right in this installation. Also, guys, by the way, if you want to know how to do this yourself, or if you just want to know a little bit more in depth of swapping everything over from a 6S to an 8S X Max, I have another video where I did this already on one of my other X Maxes, and that's going to be a much more thorough video. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a card in the corner of this video. You guys can go check that out. Um, that's going to be much more of an informative video. This is going to be much more of a quicker overview. I'm going to be doing more of a time lapse through this video and just showing you guys swapping the stuff over to turn this thing into, hopefully, the ultimate bashing machine. So let me resituate re the camera, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, I repositioned the camera and here's the drive shaft that we have to fix, number one. I don't know if you can see that right up in here. It's completely broke. It completely broke the actual dog bone itself just from the sheer torque. Um, so that has to be replaced. Now the other thing I noticed is one of my front ones uh, up front up here. It's not the drive shaft itself, but it's the actual stub axle. The pin broke in there and it's actually just spinning within the stub axle. That's why I didn't notice it was broken. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and just remove the wheels and tires uh, just to make this a little easier for you guys to see. Well, to start off with, we're going to go ahead and remove this screw here, 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 and also we're going to have to remove the ones on the side right here as well as up here. And then let's see, it's been a while since I've taken the rear bulkhead off. 
And then I think at least these two right here underneath, I believe, have to come off as well. We will see as I jump into it. But uh, I think all of those, the good thing is all of those are the same size. All of those, I believe, are two and a half mil. Oh, I forgot, guys. Also, there's going to be the ones up here also need to come out. So there's ones right here and right here. I think at least the two front ones, maybe these four up in here need to come out as well. I forgot about those. Just goes to show you how long it's been since I've taken one of these apart. Now I'm to the point where I'm going to go ahead and rip open the new bulkhead. It's going to look basically exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is the grooves are cut out just a little bit bigger in here for the, um, for the larger bearings that go with the center diff. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get started setting. Well, this right here, this, let's see, the bearings. Yep, bearings are still good. This right here is our, uh, let's see, I guess that would be the input gear. And there is the hardened steel. Um... Spur gear, 54 tooth. I'm just going to go ahead and set that in there. Let's go on, and I'm going to move on time lapse the rest of taking that apart. All right, guys, now we're to the point where we can switch the differential out. Let's see if we're missing any teeth. You know what? This diff actually is looking all right, and there's still grease all over it, so the bearings, that one, not the smoothest, but it, it's not something where I'm going to go replace it. So, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to throw this in the other one, and note where this notch is, guys, where this notch is right here. The diff can't go on that side, so it goes on this side like such. And then we can start reassembling it. Well, actually, the other thing I should do right now, guys, is I should just go ahead and um, install that center diff. So here's the center diff right here. Like I said, part number 7796. We're just going to get this ripped open. And uh, these bearings right here, I think they're the same size. One goes on either side. So both of them are on like such, guys. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and install it. And basically it just plops right in here. That's basically as simple as it is. There's really not a whole lot to it. Plop that down in like such, and it just sits down in there like that. Then I can go ahead and put this one back on top. You guys can kind of see how the thing works now. Pinion gear to spur gear to input gear to output gear slash center diff to oh, need the pinion gear out of here. Grab that real quick. Just make sure that's good. And then to pinion gear, which which goes right in here. And there's little uh there's little teeth in there, like um you might be able to kind of see it. Basically that uh this just fits into like such. Uh we do need the bearing though, so actually I need to take apart the old one and get the bearing out. Because I need that bearing right there. And then I'll be able to put it back together. Alright, and I got the original upper bulkhead off. And here's the uh, output gear. And this is actually an aftermarket hot racing one. Uh, you might be able to read hot racing right there. Maybe not. There might not be enough light. But this is a steel one. Normally that would be plastic on a 6S uh, X Max. And basically the only thing that makes these two um, bulkheads different is they use slightly larger bearings. That's it. Otherwise, this can almost 
this can almost be plopped in here and this can almost be plopped in this one. So just a very, very subtle change. Uh, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start time-lapse putting it back together, guys. All right, guys, and boom, she is done. Uh, that was quite an extensive job, so that takes quite a while. Here's the old bulkhead right here, and uh, here's the new one installed. Got everything switched over. It is pretty time consuming, though, to switch everything over. Uh, the other thing I did was I also, I had a 6S um, steering link in this, and as you guys can see, it bent. And the problem is once these bend, they just flex like crazy after that. So. These 6S plastic ones, the ones that come on the version 1. Actually, no, these come on the version 2, too, also, don't they? Yeah, basically, these ones right here, these plastic ones, are crap when you go put heavy wheels and tires like this on. They can't turn them, and this starts flexing, especially when you start jumping it. It starts flexing, and then it'll never, even if you straighten it back out, there's a weak point right there in the plastic now. The plastic's fatigued right along there, so it's just going to keep on bending. So I went ahead, and I bought another one of the Metal Link ones uh, that comes with the 2085X servo, which this do, this one does have. I think the other one tore out, it tore the threads out. Um, so I decided to put another one of those in. Uh, I The ESC came falling out, so I put more double-sided tape on that. Um, and I think that's basically it. Oh yeah, the other thing guys, I swapped out the dry shaft, brand new stub axle and drive shaft right here, and also a new diff cup on this side. I think this might be a 6S drive shaft here, so I'm gonna wait for this one to break. Once this one breaks, we'll upgrade that stub axle. We'll upgrade it to the new one, new stub axle I have right here, and the new uh, drive shaft once this one breaks. And I don't know, I think one of the other ones on the front is actually already switched to the 8S drive cup and the 8S. This is a bit of a Frankenstein build. I've kind of switched it as I've gone. But basically, after getting these stub axles and all the drive shafts swapped over, everything at that point will be make this thing an 8S X Max. And the most important thing is we got the center differential uh, put in. So, and that cost me about, I want to say it cost me about $20 for the bulkhead. 20, 25 bucks. Let's call it 20. And it cost me like another $60 for the center diff. So you're in, in about $80 if you want to upgrade from a 6S X Max to an 8S and a lot of work to actually uh, swap it over. And also I went through and I, I swapped out a few bearings. One of the bearings in here was seized. I think there's another bearing somewhere in here that was seized as well and I swapped those out for some good ones. And uh, anyway guys, this wasn't, wasn't the most thorough install. It was more of a time lapse video. I just had tons of problems. I stripped a few screws that I had to extract and I was just running into all kinds of problems. I don't normally film where I'm filming right now and it was just it was just, I don't know, it was, it was just not not my best setup and not my best video I've ever made. But I uh, thought I'd throw a video out there showing you guys upgrading this. And then now we're, we are going to be able to bash this thing again. 
And uh, I am looking forward to it, guys. So go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, hit the notification bell so then you'll be notified when I do come out with new videos because we're going to bash this thing again. You're definitely going to see this at the Rock Quarry. And we're going to see how does this thing hold up. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, see you later, guys. Uh, the other thing I was talking about at the beginning of the video, and I totally forgot until after I wrapped up filming, I totally forgot I didn't even fix it, and I don't actually think I have the part to fix it now, was I discovered uh, I was only, not only was the rear one completely broken, here's that rear one that broke, here's the stub axle, it completely twisted that uh, drive shaft. I noticed this was spinning inside of there, so this broke, it looked like it gnawed out the crap out of the... Uh, inside of that stub axle so I'm probably going to replace that but then I got thinking I don't have another drive cup and I'm thinking that's probably a 6S drive cup and even though I have another stub axle and another drive shaft yeah, that drive shaft pin isn't going to fit in there if that's a 6S one but I'm going to pull it real quick see um, otherwise uh, I'll have to order another one of those drive cups and probably another couple drive shafts and another couple uh, stub axles but that's one thing I wanted to point out so now we have like we have two wheel drive now kind of but she'll be back up and running in no time, guys.